All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. This is part two or three or four. Hell, I can't remember. But we got the 1911 build. And uh, one of the things I want to go ahead and clarify for a couple of people, this is a Rock Island Armory upper slide, not a Rock River arm slide. Somebody made a comment on that. Also would like to uh, thank T.T. Dante Cholo, who sent me a picture of his 1911, and they almost look like twins, which is interesting because we got almost all the same parts, the grip, everything. So thank you very much for sending it in. Uh, nice description of what you've got there, and I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic shooter. And yeah, I will be changing this out for a fitted uh, beaver tail. But anyway, the purpose of this video is we are going to take this bad boy right here, and we're going to tune it up. Now, I'm not going to do it on screen because I don't feel like I have enough experience to provide anybody any uh, information that would better their ability to do it. But what we are going to do is take this thing, I'm going to polish the a couple of a bunch of the parts actually. And uh, let me put this thing on because I want to do a before and after test on the pull of the trigger. And everything about a 1911 is pretty cool, man. It's just, I'm finding out that I'm liking these things more and more, and there's a reason for that. But what we're going to do now is I want to go ahead, we're going to do the trigger pull on this thing, and I want to do a before and after. So here we go. All right, so right there, hold on one second. We zero it in there. All right, we're just right at five pounds, exactly, almost exactly. So remember that, five pounds. So what are we going to do to this thing? Well, there's a bunch of different little boogers that we're going to do to it. And uh, I'll go over those here in a few seconds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down, and after I get done taking it down, I will be right back. So here we go. And a week ago, folks, I didn't know anything or didn't know how to do any of that. All right, so let's do this. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to do this on video because it's just too much for me to handle trying to get you guys done. But I will identify the things I'm going to be doing. Now, I'm going to be utilizing this sear jig that uh, Mr. Live for Wild let me borrow. Thank you very much, John. And. That's going to be one of the tools I use. Now, the other tools I'm going to use, I'm using my knife sharpener because I don't have all the stones that I need. But this is pretty much what you're using to edge, tone those, tone the, yeah, hone those edges down. So we're going to be using that. I've got a smaller one right here that I can use. And then if I need to, uh, and you know what, this is not unlike trying to tune up an AR-15 trigger or the edges. So we've got some 2000 grit paper here to get a polish on this stuff. So, um, we're going to start with the trigger bow. I'm going to go ahead and polish the surface areas here. Here shouldn't have too much, but you can see where they have been rubbing. I'm going to go ahead and polish up the rear of the trigger bow, and that is where the disconnect hits right there. I'm going to go ahead and polish up the edges of the sear and the contact areas here. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to polish the contact edges of the spring here. We're going to polish the edges and get rid of any kind of uh, burrs on the trigger spur or hammer spur. And what else? We're also going to take a look at the interior of the frame here to make sure that we don't have anything crazy going on in there. Um, but that's it pretty much. So. We got a five pound trigger pull. We're gonna maybe do some adjustments on the spring to see if we can lighten that up. But the main thing is to get that thing crisp. Ideally, I'd like to be around three pounds, but we'll see. So anyway, we'll check back here in a few minutes, or maybe a few hours, and see how it goes. Stand by.
All right, guys, well, we're done tuning up all the little individual parts. So let me just go over real quickly what I did. One was I went ahead and I polished up the inside of the frame where this trigger rolls back and forth. Another thing I did was polished up the trigger bow. I went ahead and reinstalled this thing, and I refinished the surface of the trigger because when I originally had it in there, it really got scratched up because that's where I found out where the burrs were. So we're looking pretty good right now. went ahead and reinstalled that. As you can see right there, I went ahead and I polished the trigger bow all surfaces on that because anything that's a contact surface you want to make sure that it is polished. You want, don't want any kind of drag. Okay, so what else did we do? The spring here we went ahead and polished up the surface right here which makes contact with the back of the trigger bow. We polished up the disconnect right here. Hold on, let's see if I can get that to focus in. Come on. As you can see, it's a pretty decent polish edge right there, both front and back, and this back edge area right here. Let's see what else did we do. All right, I did a little work on the grip safety. Not much. I'm not really concerned about that. Ah, I got to go ahead and get rid of the burrs on this thing. They're all over the place. And then I spent a lot of time on the sear. Went ahead and finished up. The edges of the sear, both front and back and bottom and top, using the sear jig. Thanks again, Live for a while. And I tell you what, um, in the background, I was playing Jay Williams. has got probably one of the best videos out there that's most comprehensive on how to get through all this thing. And he actually does use the trigger jig, uh, or the, the sear jig. I also polished up the surfaces of the hammer. So let me go to through real quickly. Uh, used my glasses here. Uh, 2000 grit sandpaper. I just used my uh, knife sharpener to file down the edges. Um, it, it did what it was supposed to do. did it fine. But the 2000 grit really put the mirror polish on these things and uh, did what it was supposed to do. But the thing is, is you want these surfaces to be as, as perfect as they possibly can. It's a machine and it's a precision machine. If you look at that, hold on. Look at that, that thing is polished up. All the surfaces are polished. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put the thing back together again and see how it runs. Here we go, stand by. All right, well, we got it back together again, and believe it or not, that's the first time I've been able to get it back together without screaming and hollering and cussing up a storm, which is one of the reasons why I didn't want anybody watching me do that. But uh, bunch of checks, everything appears to work. Oh my gosh. All right, so the first thing I want to do, I did an adjustment on the trigger. I pulled out the little bows on the trigger bow, and that should have shortened up the uh, return, reset a little bit. So what we want to do, one is I want to test out and see where we are on the trigger pull. I don't know if it's going to be any less. Well, yep. Let's see if we can get that to come in focus. I want you guys to see that. Just a little bit, of, just a hair over three and a half pounds. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do is I want to see what the reset is on it. That is the that is so smooth. Jesus. Probably need to go ahead and replace that trigger on down the road. She's wiggling around in there pretty good. I don't mind. That's it. I'm very happy. Very happy. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and put it back together again. I'm going to take it out and shoot the shit out of it tomorrow and have a good time. Guys, that's it. Um, again, thanks very much to Live for a While for allowing me to use the, the uh, sear jig. This was very helpful. And you know what? What a great learning experience. It's absolutely unbelievable. Um, I followed Jay Williams, uh, his YouTube channel. He does a great job leading you through the step-by-step -step process. As a matter of fact, he does it so slow you can actually do it with him because it's not like he's not, a, you know, he's not, it's like his first time. All right. Well, oh man, I'm so happy. So we put some G10 grips on this thing, order a new slide for it, and uh, really deck it out. So anyway, guys, got any questions, 
Leave me in comment sections down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. It's good boy 32 you support the boys in blue. God bless America. God bless his men and women in uniform. 24-7 for freedom. Because freedom. Look at that. Look at that one more time. Look at that. Look at that. That's sick. Wow. Freedom's not free. Good boy 32. Out.